Hello everyone, my name is Josh and my name is Jay and we want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can watch a defined enlightening We've said this the last time We have said this the last time Some of you still have not subscribed Calm down Jay I will not I will not calm down How hard is it? How hard is it? It's just a button It's over here Where? Here What? Who shifted the subscription button? Hold on you see? Be careful, Jay. You see? You see how easy it is? You see how easy it is? It, 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 it doesn't Mr. Milola? Mr. Milola? As we were discussing. Dead. All of them? Yes. It was all over the news at that time. They were killed by the task force 20 years ago, shortly after they attacked your father. Mr. Milola, when you came to me about three years ago, I assured you that I was going to do my best in digging out these buried matters and bring to justice those murderers. My men worked day and night 
they invested time and energy researching and tracing until they finally found this. You gave me your word and I trusted you. Yes. Justice is served. You should be happy. Should I? Five men attacked my father. One of them pulled the trigger. His name is missing. What name? Adegola. Adegola is missing. Find him and your work is done. That is almost three. Baba Degola said that we should not be late. It's telling us a very interesting Bible story. And what story is that? Dave and Goliath. Ah, uh -uh. Shino. I have told you that story several times. Yes, but Baba Degola is on his sweeter. Ah, and what makes his own sweeter than mine? He see oh, like you're casting news, but Baba Degola is on his spice the drama. <laughs> Maybe you are not dramatic enough. Don't mind him. He's looking for an, an entertainer. I don't have such time. You mean you don't have that skill? Not you again. Bye-bye, Daddy. I'll miss you. Don't miss me too much. All right, uh, before. <laughs> and uh, um, who is this uh, Baba Degbola? <laughs> He's a seasoned child evangelist. She knows has changed since he started attending his classes. Other parents can say the same about their children. See, he loves children, and children love him too. this morning. Bye. I can see you are all looking beautiful and handsome this morning. Are you all ready to listen to another beautiful story from the Bible? Yes! Good! You know what we are going to do? We are all going to march under the tree, settle down there while we journey into the life of David. Yes! Are you ready? Yes! Let us go. <laughs> Take it easy, one after the other, one after the other. Don't run. Miss Williams, with your very hand you are wrecking this company. How dare you accuse me of wrecking the only existing legacy of my father? This is the third time you are transferring funds from the company's account into your personal account. And I gave you my reasons. Your reasons mean nothing to us. We need proof. You need to prove to us that you are not deliberately pulling down years of selfless service that were put into this company. I owe you no proof. 
I owe you no explanations to the decision as I make. You need to keep your decisions. Keep your explanations. Just refund the loan you took from this company. My company. Our company. Mr. Kappa, look, Miss Williams, we served your father. I also were ready to serve you as the heir. But if you continue to be reckless and irresponsible, this company will go bankrupt. Now, you went ahead and withdrew 250 million naira. Borrowed. Oh, but unaccounted for. Eh? That this is not the first time you will go ahead and withdraw so a huge amount of the company from the company's account. Look, we are heading for bankruptcy. I need you to trust me. Trust you? The money I borrowed was not a waste. It was invested. And that is why you have to take it without consulting the board, right? How could you just take such a decision alone? Excuse me, sir. I said you cannot come in. Ma, I'm very sorry. I tried stopping him, but he demanded to see you. I'm sorry, Ma. What are you doing here? We need to talk. You need to wait. They need to wait. I told you. I told you. Clara. Sorry, Mom. Baby, this is very urgent. We need more money. More money? See, we are close to finalizing the deal. If you give me 50 million naira today, I will wrap things up and then I will get our company rolling. Femi, you interrupted a very important meeting to ask for 50 million naira. I interrupted a very important meeting to talk about our future. There are prices to pay, and I cannot pay it alone. But I've been the one paying it all alone, Femi. It is destroying my father's legacy. People are talking. Let them talk. I gave you everything you wanted. You gave me everything we wanted. And that decision is haunting me. I am at the verge of losing my father's company. 250 million naira. Unaccounted for. Yet, you walk boldly into my meeting to demand for another 50 million naira. Are you mad? Your father's company is dying. Let's demolish it and build up another one from its crown. Don't talk about my father's legacy like. <laughs> You're so proud of that word, aren't you? You say it all the time as if it means something. Times are changing. The world is revolving. Legacy or no legacy, this company is going down. The decision you make now will determine your escape route. And I'm sure you know it. That was why you gave me the 250 million naira in the first place. I will be the biggest fool to grant you your second desire. So be it. Where are you going? I'm leaving Temi. And not just this building. And what do you mean? I don't see anything we're building together if you do not trust me. So what happens to what we have already started building? It's all a waste. Femi, 250 million naira. A waste. Flush down the drain. If I do not get the 50 million naira from you today to wrap things up. You are scamming me. You scammed yourself by living under the shadows of your dead father. I want my money. Goodbye. Take me. Femi, I will be damned to watch you destroy my father's legacy. I want my money. Get a life. By the time I am done with you, Femi, you won't find one. Femi.
Well, Miss Williams, that's our decision. Do you think my father would have wanted this? <clears throat> that's a question for you to answer. You know, the company was heading for bankruptcy and we needed to act fast. Selling off the company is a wrong move. This wouldn't have happened if you had managed the company very well. Give me one more year. <laughs> <laughs> one more year? <laughs> then we'll be jobless. I'll give back the money. Look, Miss Williams, I can't trust you anymore with this company. We're almost at the edge. Let's give it to the people that can salvage the situation, that can reverse it. Who is buying the company? Today I'm come. What? Our rival? They are interested in taking over. No, you are interested in handing over. Look, Miss Williams, let's look at the brighter side of things. You know, they'll buy the company and also retain our staff. What if we partner instead? <laughs> no, 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 no. The deal is done. And besides, we are stakeholders. And what if I talk to Tunde? Um, I think we are done here. Sure. So long. That um, I said I was going to confirm from you if we are good to go because he wanted he sent a mail yesterday and we already responded to them so that's fine by you already. I uh, will uh, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Thank you, sir. Ah, Dad. Hello. Tunde. Good evening, Dad. Uh, good evening. I'm sorry I did not pick your call the other time. I was busy with my Bible study children. I was ministering to them. That was why I did not pick. Yes, yes. So I called to share some good news with you. Uh -huh. ah, praise God. I'm all here. Now, Dad, guess. Uh, you are getting married? No, I'm getting a new company. <laughs> with the staff and its management. Oh. Good for you. What? I was not expecting that you would... What were you expecting? When you said you had the good news for me, I told myself, thank God. God has finally done it. There is a woman in your life. Oh, not again. Not again, Dad. Not again. Tunde, are you not lonely? Now, you should see it this way. I'm busy. It's better than being lonely. So when are you paying me a visit? You should see my house. It's really beautiful. I will oblige when you find a good wife. Tunde, are you praying about this matter at all? Yes, I'm praying about this matter, Dad. Are you praying with the devotional for single men I gave you? No. Why? Why, why would I use devotionals for single men? Tunde, you are 35 years for God's sake. Ah, Daddy, 35. No, 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 this is shameful. This is bad. You don't even know your son's age. How old are you then? I'm 40. Jesus! Hello, Dad. Hello? God. Dad, do you know what you're doing to me is not right? Ah, Kenny Motushewo, what am I doing to you? You heard my age and you cut the call. Do you know the amount of pressure you're mounting on me? You have passed the pressure rearing age. Tunde, men of your age don't complain of pressure. It is pressure that complains of them. 
you'll be 50 years in a couple of years' time. Your mates are celebrating children. And you, Tunde, you are celebrating companies. Dad. Whoa, why are you a millennial? It's time for my quiet time. I'll talk to you later. Hello, Femi. A part of me died when my father was murdered. Now, you want to kill what is left of me by destroying this company. I am begging you. You have the power to control your decisions. But you don't have the power to control the consequences. I give you 24 hours to give me back my money. Come in. Hey. Mom. Are you okay? You know I'm here if we need to talk. I'm fine. Are you Mr. Femi? Um, yes, I am. Um, what's the problem? You will have to follow us to the station. I am not going anywhere. Mr. Femi, you need to come with us to the station. See, you can't just barge into my house and expect me to follow you to your station. Respect yourself. Please oblige with us, or else we will use force on you. Go to hell. Eh? You may call me now. Man, man, Atira, oh. how? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not just the company, but the company and the, the staff and its management. Yes, 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 yes. 
Oh, oh, oh sure, we should throw a huge party for that. Definitely, definitely. Uh, the, I should invite the boss lady. Well, I heard she's um, that woman is one stone cold lady like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tusa, what did you say? I should not only buy the cup, I should I should marry her too. <laughs> ah, let her go in here, sir. Ah, we need we need run in here. Get out of my phone. Get out, get out of my phone, get out of my phone. All right now. Yeah, take care. <laughs> uh, yes. Morning, Mr. Tunde. You are the... Are you the journalist? What journalist? The woman sent here to interview me on the um, new company I'm about to buy. I am the owner of the new company you're about to buy. Are you, wait. Sorry, are you Miss... Temi Lola. Ah! <laughs> my God, my God. What it gets me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I said so much trash on the phone. Uh, most of it is not even true. What part? Uh, the part of me marrying. Uh, me marrying. Uh, in Nicolas Abel. <laughs> it was, you know, I have some irresponsible friends, <laughs> you know. I'm here to discuss the possibility of partnering with yourself, completely buying us over. Miss Demilola. It's not possible. And why? Oh, well, because, you know, I'm about to throw a party. You know, I've invited friends and family. I've um, shared the testimony in the church. I've done so much. You know, you cannot undo what has been done already. Can I talk to the CEO? I am the CEO. I don't think so. And why? I've spent, say, five minutes here and uh, I've concluded that you're sitting on the wrong chair. What do you mean? You're immature. You're childish. You're irresponsible. And most importantly, you lack the wit of an effective leader. Now, listen to me. Newsflash. This immature, irresponsible and childish man built this company to what it is. And I'm about to purchase your company. So if you want to keep your job, you better start by keeping your mouth shut. A kid will never sit on my father's chair. Your father's chair? Miss Temilola, your father's chair is too rusty for me. His office is too archaic for me. My senior staff won't even use that office. I, the best I could do is just give it to my junior. No, I think I will just give it to my interns. You will regret this. We shall see. Get to your money. Just, just get me out of this place. Terminola! 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 He said he's ready to return the money. Adebola, have you found him? Madam, I, I want to advise that we rest this case. The man who stood over the body of my father is interesting. Don't tell me to rest. That was a long time ago. And he still haunts me like yesterday. We can't trace him. Narrow your search. You already have information on the road the robbery occurred. Search the neighborhood. 
Search around that place. It could still be there. <sighs> and what if he is not? We don't have enough information about him. He is of average height and fair skinned. That is still not enough. Rufus, narrow your search. Do whatever you can. I'll double the pay. If you want me to do your job, count me out. But if you want me to do my job, then address me by my title. D.S.P. Rufus. Okay? I am sorry, D.S.P. Rufus. They are all dead. No one is standing. He is of average height and fair skinned. He is the last man standing. Excuse me, sir. Who are you, sir? Eh? Uh, excuse me, sir. What is happening here? Who are you? Me. Your buildings are bigger than you. Let Jesus carry them. He really cares for you. <sighs> Lord, I pray that Timmy will understand how great and deep and warm your love is so that she can forget the past and focus on the great future you have for her. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you. You will perform a random search in the neighborhood. Ask as many persons as you can, uh, the traders, market women, taxi drivers, cyclists, they might just know who he is. Uh, but sir, no but. Um, uh, what was it you wanted to ask? Um, what exactly are we looking for, sir? I told you. I said, Adigbola. Um, um, Adigbola what, sir? Adigbola fierce-skinned. Good. Spell the fear skin you wrote. F E S K I N. I think that fierce skin. Something is wrong with you. He's fear skinned. Fear skinned. That was what I meant. Uh, but, sir, that's not enough, sir. I've given you the information I have. Your duty is to look for the face, the identity, and the location in the next 24 hours. Whoever finds him, get a reward from me. Anita!
Ejo se me to nje Adebola. Be ni sami. Emo. Ejo se mo bi to wa. Mo bi to wa so. Ju pon emo. Yes. You found him? Great job. Good job. Fantastic. Oh, just send his picture to me right away. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Fantastic team. Fantastic team. <laughs> is of average height, fair-skinned, and elderly. Just imagine the picture you sent to me. You sent the picture of one thin and tribal-marked boy. How does that make sense to you? How does that make sense to you? Are you intentionally working hard to frustrate me? Yes. Um, sir, do you watch CSI Miami? CSI what? It is a criminal investigation show on TV. How does that relate to what we are talking about? Sir, I can go undercover. Under what? Undercover. Cover your face in shame for that foolish suggestion. But sir... Now, leave my office. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah. So, we have been conducting a random search in the neighborhood for some weeks now. Okay. I want to ask, do you know any elderly fair-skinned man bearing Mr. Degbola? Mr. Degbola? You mean Baba Degbola? <sighs> yes, Baba Degbola. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. You're welcome, young man. Thank you so much, sir. Ah, yes. Oh, ah. You said you are a reporter from where? Intake newspaper, sir. Oh, that's good. Um, sir, we've heard a lot of positive reports from your neighbors about you. So I am here to interview you and also to know more about you. <laughs> Well, my name is Folani Adebola. Good. Sir, what inspired you to pick up the call as a child evangelist? It's a long story. Sir, every long story can be cut short. Hmm? You're right. Hmm. Years ago, I was involved in an incident that changed my life. Mm. Sir, can you be more explicit? I watched a little girl cry because she lost her father. That incident touched me and redefined my purpose. A little girl? Yes. How did she lose her father? It wasn't a robbery incident. Um, sir, were you part of the robbery? Baba Dibala? Yes. 
I found him. Mm. Yes, sir. Jesus was sleeping peacefully at the lower deck of the ship when suddenly his disciples encountered a great big storm and they were all scared. They were all running up and down. They were scared, afraid that their ship might capsize. So they ran down to the lower deck and woke Jesus up. When they woke Jesus up, you know what he did? He just stood up and said, Peace, be still. What did he say? Good, peace, be still. And immediately, there was peace. The great storm ceased. Hmm? That means that there is no storm in your life that cannot cease. There is no trouble that cannot be calm, that Jesus cannot calm. You hear me? If you find yourself in any kind of trouble or challenge, Instead of crying, <laughs> just do what? Take it to God in prayer. What did I say? Take it to God in prayer. One more time. Take it to God in prayer. Good. Now I'm going to teach you a song. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Can you repeat it? Jesus stop the storm. Jesus stop the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Let me hear you sing it. Jesus stop the storm. Jesus stop the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Jesus stop the storm. We have been looking for you for a very long time. Why? In fact, there is a prize on your head. The only surviving member of the Black Scorpion Gang. You are a criminal. I was a criminal, but I am no more. You have destroyed many lives. And you have rendered many people homeless. You are talking to the wrong man, officer. On the contrary, I bring shelter to so many homeless children. I teach children the word of God. It is my job. It is my life. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about 25 years ago. Hmm. 25 years ago. Oh, Mr. Milola. You. Why is he sitting down? Madam. DSP Rufus, why is a murderer sitting down comfortably in your office? Until he's charged and convicted, you have no right to call him a murderer. You don't engage people like this in conversations. You torture them until the truth spills out of their mouth. He's not your misguided boyfriend. And I cannot treat him as such. You are not my boss. And you sure don't have any right to coach me how to run my operations. I paid you for this operation. To hell with your money. It's you? It is you! The girl in the car. Ah! It is you! 
the girl covered with the cloth. Ah, oh, it is you. You gave me my life. You gave me my purpose. Oh, it is you. Adibola, step back. There is no day that passes without me seeing you in my dreams. Oh, I owe you everything. You are getting too close. Step back. Oh, thank step you. back. Thank you. Don't thank touch you. me! Ah, 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 don't touch me! It's okay. Come, come. Don't touch me! Ah, this is ah, not for life! This is not for life! It's okay. okay. I'll make it's sure you're okay. sick okay. now! Okay. Judge of Obi Dan! You killer! You murderer! You dead meat! You dead I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Oh my god. Okay, okay, please, please sit. Ah, ah, come to me, Stop it, Jack. Too no one not there, me say. So, Um, their manager, that arrogant thing. Who better say runs, Majumi? I told her to take a workout. Eh? Monico, take a workout. Hello? What? The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him and He helps me. My heart leaps with joy and with my song I praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Amen. Um, you have a visitor. Huh? What is he doing here? Father Bande. No, I want to just know. What did you do? What is he doing here? Does it look like a criminal to you? Today, Farah Bale Kushi Suru. Answer my question. Does it look like a criminal to you? Today, relax, Farah Bale. She Suru. Ah. Joko. Me, Joko. Today, Joko, sit down. Twenty-five years ago, I was a transporter. <laughs> I was well acquainted with the members of the Black Scorpion. Black? Black what? The Black Scorpion. I wasn't a member of the court group. I only had them as friends. Hmm. Your mother was seriously sick then. And I needed money desperately. Uh, they promised to give me some money if I drove them out for an operation. I didn't have to do anything. Then, they raided a car right in the middle of the road. Jasper, the leader of the group, shot the owner of the car and the driver. <sighs> I froze. I froze as if it was an out-of-the-body experience. <sighs> I got down from the car and staggered to the dead man. They kept on calling my name. Adebola, 
Adibola, but I kept on walking. When I got to the car, I looked in. I saw. What, what did you see? I saw her. Who? Somebody dead here? Somebody dead here? Somebody dead here? Uh, 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 nobody dead here. Come on, man. Come on, go away. Just yesterday, I got to know that her name is Timilola. Timilola? Yes. Timilola Williams. Good morning, sir. Yeah, it's, um, is Miss Williams here? Yes, sir. She's inside. to claim my father's office? <laughs> Not at all. So what do you want? Emilola, you see, the last time we met, I said so many awful things. Oh, yes, you did. And, um, you see, the thing is, I'm bad-mannered. Um, my father complains about that a lot. As a matter of fact, it's part of the reasons why I am still single <laughs> at the age of 40. Can you imagine that? Having spent 40 minutes with you, it's not hard to imagine. Hmm. Mr. Tunde, I am sure you're not here to discuss your rotten singleness. No, no I'm not here to discuss my... Uh... Can we start again? With what? Our friendship. We had none. Our relationship. We had none. Terminola, when you came to my office, you talked about partnership. Alright? I can do that. In fact, I can even do you one better. I can pay off your outstanding debt and, you know, give you a fresh start. On what condition? Not whatsoever. Mr. Tsumde, I am finding it hard to reconcile the blockade I made two days ago to the kind-hearted man standing in front of me. I can't agree more. What's the catch? Now, Timbala, you have a man locked up in the prison. Now, I want you to... I... I... Um, is it possible? Can you let this man be free? Oh? Sorry, before we continue, how many men do you have locked up in the prison? Countless in my heart, but two in the station. So, who? Mm, it's, not, it's not relevant. Then your relevance in this office is expired. My father. Timnola, you need to let him go free, please. Have you any idea why? Yes. Yes. I know, yes. So, you want me to set free a man who has kept me locked up? Look, let's forget about the past and look at the future that is ahead of us. There's only one future ahead of me and that is to watch your father sentenced to death. Do you have any iota of human emotions, any string of feelings, any, any, any pinch of forgiveness? Mr. Tunde, you sound like a broken record. My advice for you, get the best lawyer. Because I will fight tooth and nail to put your father to death. Jesus Christ. And 
after his date, we can discuss your new offer for this company and um, our future partnership. Was you rightly put? Relationship. Eh, hey, my mama. Tell my mother just offering to say, "Well, okay." Tunde, you need to go back to her. And do what? We don't need her. What we need is a lawyer that can prove your innocence. Ah, forgiveness means so much more to me now than my innocence. That girl, she's rich in revenge and poor in forgiveness. You don't ask what you can't receive. Tunde, the word of God says that love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. By doing this, you will only be acting as true children of our Father in heaven. Jesus wants us to love. Some enemies are reasonable. Share your mother, you know, like you go out here. if you are fighting a war that you don't know how to win, the best way to fight it is to fight it God's way. And what's God's way? The way of salvation. The power of the cross, the passion of Christ, that is what we need to show her. Then I will show her the movie Passion of the Christ. Film you a powerful girl. I hope she watches it. I hope she cries. Wow. What? It just hit me now. Let me ask you, are you born again yourself? Of course I'm born again. Oh, then prove it to me. How? Ah. You have lost touch with your salvation. Oh, you have lost touch with your Savior. Why are you behaving like this? See, we both know what will happen if I go back to that place. She's going to kick me out. Of course she will. Then you go again. Look, Tunde, she's empty inside. And only Jesus can fill that vacuum. Our only weapon it's love. You will gain nothing by loving her. <laughs> if I'm thinking of what I'm going to get, then I don't love. I was there when our life ended. And the only thing I desire so much for her now is to give her a new life. I don't care if I'm sentenced to death. I don't care if I'm given life imprisonment. Daddy, I try my sorrow by. It is too costly. I have counted the cost, Sundi. Can I at least get you a lawyer? Can you at least do your job? What job? A day must not pass, Sundi. A day must not pass without Temilola hearing about Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. She expect me to give my body. Sister, tell me, oh, sister, tell me, oh, give your life to Jesus. So, oh, give your this, this is ridiculous. Today, uh -uh. be creative, be strategic. What if you want to sell an idea of your company to her? How would you go about it? Any idea from me to her is dead on arrival. What if you desired her for a wife? How would you convince her to marry you? Is it not by going on one knee? <laughs> I will never bend a knee for Temilola. You are right, Tunde. People like you don't go on one knee. You should go on two knees. To buy the possible girl, go double I'm only share sorrow by. Because you are a golden boy. A golden what? Yes, golden boy. In a few years to this time, you will be celebrating your golden jubilee without a wife. You have passed the kneeling stage for proposing. You should be frustrating. Ah, uh, uh, daddy. 
Golden boy, Newo. Married man, Lemi. We are going through a crisis as big as this. Ever saw a marital status. She ain't look up, I. You see, I'm just trying to say. Yeah, you, you, you said enough. What I need to do right now is get you your lawyer. Sunday. Check out what you have to me, Lola. We pray, Lord, that at this moment you go forth and torture. Hey. Hi. Make it quick. Yes, I I was um I was looking at the picture and I Lola, what, what will he do? What will who do? I mean, your, your father, what, what will he do? Nice seeing you again, Atim. No, Lola, the man you loved up is innocent. You cannot be heartless to put an innocent man in prison. My heart was ripped out 25 years ago when I watched a man stand over my father's body. So I swear to God, I will stand over your father's body. You're damn right, Sunday. I am heartless. Why are you talking like this? Killing my father will not bring back your father. We can debate all you want. The first thing remains that your father is going to die. The question is how? Hanging, firing okay, squad. Shut, like, you need to shut that you mouth. You need to get out of my house. Good day. A word of advice. I'm a dead end. Do not drive through me. She's not joking. She wants you dead and she means it. What did you tell her? What I told her is not consequential. Answer me. I tried to convince her to let you go. I tried to... to I tried... Look at me. Son? I am not going to die. I have never met a woman so full of poison. I mean, our words alone make my spirit bitter. I can't go back to her. You will go back to her. Enough of this. If you don't care about your life, I do. She said it with her mouth that she's a dead end. If I go back to her, I will crash. You will go back to her. Are you listening to anything that I'm saying? No. But you will listen to everything I'm saying. You will go back to her and tell her about Jesus. That means nothing. The name of Jesus means everything. your conversation with the young man. Tell me I'm talking to you. The young man is right, you know. I will let the court decide that. Tell me. Please. Let it go. Please. 
Today is Children's Day. Honor these children's requests. I can't. They, they just want to see him. I mean, ever since he got arrested, we have not had peace in the home. Even at school, they are not concentrating. At first, I thought it was only my child. But I soon realized that other parents were going through the same thing. Please. I can't even hear what you're saying. Can you please tell them to be quiet? Uh, uh, children, uh, please be quiet. Huh? Be quiet. Sir, Who is it to them? He is a Bible study teacher. Uh, uh, but the impact he has on their lives is more than the impact we parents have over our children. And you allow that? If your children are going to a place where they are getting better, won't you allow them? And, uh, sir, why was he even arrested? I can't disclose that to you, sir. Uh, now, leave with your children. Jesus, stop the storm. Jesus, stop the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Jesus stop the storm. Jesus stop the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Jesus Those are my children. Those are my children. Jesus can do Officer. Officer, please come. Ah, those are my children. I, I can hear their voices. Officer, ah, ah, please. Ah, ah, I can hear their voices. I can hear their voices. Who, whose voices? Ah, my children. Oh, it is prison madness. Huh? It is prison madness. Ah, oh. oh, fa. This is the first stage. Hmm? Yeah, the second stage. You will not only hear them. You will see them. Ah. Uh, sorry, eh? Uh, Jesus stop the storm. Jesus stop the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Jesus stop the storm. Jesus stop the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Jesus stop the storm. Stops the storm. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Jesus. Bring him out. No anchors. Get him his clothes. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
I was told a man called James was here to see me. Yes. Um, James is my middle name. So, it's still the same thing. Tunde James. If you're here to talk about your father, <coughs> if you're here to talk about your father, <coughs> not in the mood. Look, Temila, I'm not here to talk about my father. Then who are you here to talk about? I am here to talk about the man called Jesus. What? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, I. I brought some things up for you. Listen and be blessed. The man called Jesus is a... Tell me, you know, initially I thought of reading this, but then I decided I'm going to just speak from my heart. Have you ever wondered how a man from a very humble background rose to become one of the top CEOs that we have in this country? So many years ago, I was a little boy, you know, and I was sent out of school because of my inability to pay my fees. I was bitter, I was sad. And so I cried home to meet my father. My father looked at me and said, son, you have the richest father in the whole world. <laughs> I said, no, dad, no, no. You cannot be the richest father in the world. If you were, I won't be sent out of school. Then he said, son, no. God is your father. Whenever you need anything, Go to him in prayers and believe in faith that he has done it for you. And so, I prayed, I believed, and I had faith. I washed my school uniform, ironed my school uniform because I believed that in faith something will happen. So I got up the next day and went to school hoping in faith that the gate will be open. And when I got to school, Temilola, the gate was, was opened. I waited for the man to send me back home. He checked the list and he said, your debt has been paid. The gate was opened and I walked right in. I was crying. Temilola, I was crying. But people around me could not understand why a young boy could be crying so much. But I pointed to the gate, still they would not understand. An unknown man took it upon himself to pay my school fees. Now, this man took it upon himself to sponsor my education, my secondary school education, my university education, and also my master's degree in the United States. Now, Timlala, I don't know this man. My father doesn't know this man. I don't deserve his favor. But he opened that gate. Now there is a man called Jesus who can open the gate of salvation for you and pay the debt of your sins. No, you don't deserve his mercy. You don't deserve his love. All you've ever done is lock up people in the prison of your heart. You think you are the jailer. But what you don't know is that both the jailer and the jail are both locked up. Only Jesus can open the gate of salvation for you. Hello? Clara, please bring in the next big store. Uh, uh. 
You know, I was just about to give an altar call. Or should I say, even in this case, an office call. But I take it back, you don't need it. Tila, <laughs> the death of my father can never fill the vacuum in your heart. His death can never set you free. Only the blood of Jesus can achieve what you are desperately trying to achieve with my father. You video. can't be serious. That, my friends call me to Papa. <laughs> you are just a smart guy. No, no, that's, that's who I am. No. That's who I am. <laughs> Tell me, welcome to the party. No, no, no. Oh, who do we have here? <laughs> this young man today is amazing. He's been making me laugh all day. All day? Mommy, mommy, let's come down to reality. It's not all day. I've been here for like, uh, let's say, an hour. Really? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Honestly, it's as if we've known each other for years. <laughs> <laughs> See what he brought uh, here for us? No, mommy, this, this is small. But this is nothing because the next gift that I'll be bringing will be with trucks. I'll be bringing trucks <laughs> with loads of gifts. But honestly, it's been long someone has taught it twice to give me a gift. Really? So that's why it's so special. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing, mommy. Thank you so much, Tunde. This means a lot. Oh, thank you, Temi Lola. It, it, it means a lot seeing you smile. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't smile often. Like, so at, at least this is the first time that I will see you smile. <laughs> Let me get these gifts inside. John! You are just... No, no I, it's all about business. John! Strategy. You know, John! Putting everything in the right direction. And I think I have that gift. It's not about what I plan or what I do. It's just about you know, getting everything in the right strategy. Perfect. Yes, mommy. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Uh, I really all right, appreciate it. But... Do you still appreciate this smile? I told you once, I'm a dead hand. Don't strive through me. Tuna, please. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Come here. What was that all about? What was what all about? That young man is a good man. And you don't treat good people that way. Shame on you, mom. Tell me. Shame on you for receiving the gifts of a murderer. If we conceal the wound of over 20 years, we might not receive healings. But if we treat it, healings will come. What they are asking from you is your forgiveness. What does it take you to give them? It takes more than an apology and a bribe to erase what has been done. Nothing you do can bring back the dead. The dead? Is that what he is to you? Dead? <laughs> it is bad enough that his father killed my father. But it is worse that he's dead in your heart. And you know nothing about my husband. You know nothing about my father. You were not there when he was killed. You were not there when his father stood over his body. No wonder you find it comfortable to receive gifts from bloodstained ants. You are right. I wasn't there. But I've been here for you. If I had lived like you and saw the world through your eyes, then I would have been long gone and no one would be here for you. No father, no mother. I 
I was nine years old when I followed my father to pay my grandparents a visit. They attacked us in the middle of the road. My father immediately removed his agbada and covered me up. I heard three gunshots. Three gunshots that still ring in my ears till date. I heard clearly a name. Adegbola. Then I removed my father's clothes and I saw him. Who? The name I heard. Is he in this court? Yes. Can you identify him? Yes. That'll be all, my lord. When are you going back to see her today? to get your attention. When you were little, I told you that God is your father. And he has been so good to you. He has prospered the works of your hands. But unfortunately, you have focused on the gift and neglected the giver. I think it's time for you to go back to your father. It is time for you to pick up a conversation with him, just like when you were little. <sighs> Even if I die, I want you to know that you still have a father in heaven who you can talk to.
Jesus! Timmy! Timmy! Who is there? Who is there? John! Mr. Adegbola, did you have anything to do with the death of Chief Mark Indy Williams? Objection, my lord. The prosecution cannot ask such a direct question. Objection overruled. As, As the, the court pleases. Mr. Adegbola, answer your question. No, I did not. Then who did? Jasper did. The report from Miss Temilola revealed that you were standing very close to her father's body when she saw you. Yes, I was. In her words, she said you were standing over the body. Yes. Yet you did not kill him. Jasper did. Mr. Adibola, I put it to you that you pulled the trigger. No. And stood over the body. I stood over the body but I did not kill anybody. Again, I ask, where were you when the bullets were fired? I was in the car. This moment you are in the car, and the next you are standing right over the body. Please, pick a story. I am trying to, but you will not let me. Oh, so you have more than one story? No, I don't. You have multiple stories? Objection, my lord. That question is totally irrelevant and totally improper. Objection sustained. As the court please. Prosecuting counsel, please ask relevant questions. Mr. Adebola, I know you have cooked several stories in your mind. Which one are you willing to serve us with? They told me to drive them for an operation. Mm. They told you? I, I, I was the driver. They, they, they attacked the jeep. They? Who, who are the they? The gang that I drove. So you mean to tell us that a robbery was going on and you just sat there watching? I was too shocked to move. And when I came back to my senses, I got down from the car and went to the jeep. And there, I saw the girl. I don't buy it. I am not selling it. I see. That will be all, my lord. There was a heated debate in the court today as Mr. Adegola, who was recently accused of killing Chief Williams, tried to prove his innocence. The prosecuting counsel did not buy his side of the story. According to them, he was the closest to the body of Chief Williams. These are facts that he's not denying and as a result have made him a chief suspect. From our investigations, Mr. Adegola may be facing life imprisonment or a death sentence if his lawyer fails to prove his innocence. <coughs> no, no. <coughs> Jesus stops the storm. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus can do anything for me. <coughs> Madam, from the previous examination and scan that uh, my colleague from the previous uh, shift did, uh, the result shows that uh, you have breast cancer with metastasis uh, to the lungs. Ah, Jesus. Jesus. I, I don't understand. 
Ms. Temi Williams, we need to proceed with immediate treatment, which will include a bilateral radical mastectomy, um, followed by chemotherapy. I, 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 I still don't understand. What I mean is that we will actually have to remove both breasts and begin chemotherapy. Ah! <laughs> Miss <laughs> Tammy Williams, um, this is not a death sentence. <laughs> it's not. Then I don't know what it is. <laughs> Hello, mommy. What? What happened? Your call sounded so urgent. Please, I just want to beg you to forgive Timmy. Whatsoever he has done to you, don't, your family. I don't, please. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Forgive. How, I don't understand. She's really in a bad shape. I just want to beg you to forgive her. I don't believe the doctor's report. <laughs> I believe God's report. Sunday and I have been praying for you downstairs. Don't waste God's time. Now I know what it feels like to have a death sentence. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Please hold on for her. Sunday is that. Yes. We were praying together for you. Hello? Timilola, it's a lie. <laughs> what is? The result. The test result is not yours. And you know this because? Because my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ told me, you have your best years ahead of you. I see a bright future before you. I see your husband. I see your children. Four children, two boys, two girls. You will breastfeed your own children, Timilola. I don't believe. But I do. Job 14, verse 7 to 9 says, If someone cuts up branches off a tree, the tree itself will not die. Its branches may have fallen off, and the tree may be nearly dead. But if there is a little water, the tree will not die, and its branches will grow again. Jesus says, Whosoever shall drink of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of living waters, springing up into everlasting life. Give me this water. I want this water. <laughs> Lord Jesus, Timila lies thirsty, Lord. Fill her cup, Lord. Thank Make you, her Jesus. whole again, Lord. Making her a well of living waters springing up into everlasting life. As she accepts you as her personal Lord and Savior, Jesus. I pray that you will accept her and restore her. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, 
You said someone told you that I made a mistake. No. I said someone told me the result you gave to me is not mine. Who told you? It doesn't matter, Doctor. I think I deserve to know who told you. It will sound ridiculous. Miss Timmy, who told you, please? My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he told me. Actually, the test result here belongs to Miss Timmy Lonu. Um, while the one here belonged to Miss uh, Miss Temilola, yeah. That's me. <sighs> um, well, I don't know how to say this, but I want to say I am very, very sorry. You don't actually have a cancer. I. Don't. Oh no, you don't. Um, from the test result, what you actually have is a minor reaction that is caused by... Are you saying I have a future? Oh yes, you have a future. Are you saying yeah, we have a husband? Um, well, if, if you desire, why not? Are you saying I will breastfeed my children? Um, uh, Miss Timmy, you... Four of them. Two boys, two girls. Well, well, if, if that's your desire, why, why not? Then, why is an innocent man still in prison? Excuse me? Excuse me. Yes, come in. Yes, me. Mr. Bilola. There is a situation. I'm done here. Just calm down. Timilola, I'm sorry you can't do that. That is my decision. You can't make that kind of decision. It is not done. An innocent man is behind bars. I fought tooth and nail to put him there. If I have to fight to get him out, I will. You cannot call a man who conspired to kill your father innocent. Timinola, you have lost your sense of judgment. And who made you the judge of that? Um, <clears throat> I think we should calm down. Tell her to withdraw the case. If you want to barge into the court and scream withdraw, then be my guest. But there are procedures that must be followed. You're right about one thing. I am not the judge and that also applies to you. You brought this case to the court, but it is not your judgment to make. What are you trying to say? You are the only living witness. You said he stood over your father's body and he did not deny it. The tides are against him. He may not pull the trigger, but he was an accomplice to murder. Put me on the witness stand. You can swim against the tides. I don't care. I want to testify. Mr. Milola, if I am correct, are you withdrawing the charge against the accused person? Yes. And why? Because he's innocent. And you know this because... Because the person that pulled the trigger is different from him. Was he at the murder scene? W well... Mr. Milola, was he at the murder scene? Yes. In your testimony, you said you saw someone standing over your father's body. Yes, but another person pulled the trigger. Was he the one? No. Was he the one? I'm sorry, Mr. Digbola is innocent of the crime I accused him of. You are answering the wrong question. Was he the closest to the body of your father? Yes. As I said earlier... And that will be all, my lord.
the prosecuting counsel and the defense counsel, having adopted their respective final addresses. This case is hereby adjourned till the third day of October, year 2020, for judgment. As the Lord, Jesus, I'm afraid. I don't want to die. I want to see my son's wife. I want to rejoice with him when he finally gets married. judgment. Then so be it. Ah, it's not my will, Lord. But your will be done. <laughs> It's time. <laughs> yes, Jesus loves me. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Tunde, it's time. Today is the day we await the final judgment of Mr. Adegola. Any time from now, the judge will give his final verdict. And today, will know if Mr. Adegwala will walk a free man or he will face the long arm of the law. Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. After hearing the submissions of the prosecuting counsel, and the defense counsel. And upon careful evaluation of the evidence before me, I hereby find the accused innocent of the armed robbery and murder charge preferred against him. The accused person is hereby discharged and acquitted. This shall be the judgment of the court. As the court pleases. The court shall rise. The court. Thank you so much, Tendrilla. Thank you. turn of events, Mr. Matthew Adegola has been discharged and acquitted. 
He is a free man. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good to see you. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Ah, it's a pleasure seeing you. Same here, sir. Do we go in? Sure. After you. <laughs> I don't know how to say thank you. Oh, no, Temi Lola. I should be the one to say thank you. I can't remember the last time I felt this much peace, this much joy. Mm. Jesus made the difference. I have released everyone I kept locked up in the prison of my heart. Oh, that is great. Just a few weeks ago, I told the DSP to release Femi. Femi? Who is Femi? A guy who duped me. I am looking forward to the beautiful future Jesus has for me. The one he showed you. Mm. Don't worry. It will come to pass. A godly home. A godly husband. Two boys. Two girls. <laughs> Can I ask you one favor? Oh. <laughs> Anything for you, my dear. Can I call you dad? <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to say, but um, I'll be much more happy to have you as my daughter. Ah. Tunde. Hey, Timmy. You have been around? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, since this old man won't come over to my place, I figured I just come over here and pay him a visit. Why won't you go to his house? Oh. Uh, you see, I... He said that until I get married and settle down, then they will come. Can, can you imagine this man? <laughs> really? <laughs> and I've been telling him, I said, look, Baba, e Farabale, God's time is the best. But no, he doesn't know more than frustrating somebody's enemy up and down. Speaking of time, I have to leave now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Good. Goodbye, Dad. I'll see you later. All right, daughter. Here you go. Oh, after you. Yeah. Uh, Esa, Esa. She called you Dad. No. Oh. <laughs> God's time is the best. That, that does not explain why she called you Dad. <laughs> Tunde. Can someone miss God's timing? Especially when he's standing right in front of him. <laughs> That's not what we are saying. What I'm saying is that she called... Oh. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, so whew, that was it. That was a good one. Yeah, so I was. I wanted to ask. I was just thinking, the discipleship class in the church. Are you enjoying it? Oh, yes, I am. Ah, good, good, good. But I, I believe that there are still some sensitive uh, matters that you want to address. Some questions that you you want to ask. Ask. Well, true. Yeah, good. Now. Can we get a place and a time? Um, preferably a restaurant where we can address these sensitive issues. What kind of issues? We have different kind of issues. You know, we have academic issues, we have uh, career issues, uh, and uh, I don't know, uh, we, have, we have the marriage issue. Mm, a restaurant. A good atmosphere for a good Bible study. I'll think about it. Please do. Fine by me. God bless you. Thank you. 
There are times in life when we go through situations It may seem like complications or it may be tribulations As it keeps you up at night You are looking for the bigger picture So you open up the scripture And here's what you see inside Just like years ago The disciples were rowing on a boat Traveling through the ocean Then they called unto Jesus When the waters was blowing And he showed them the impossible We can do anything. Jesus stops the storm. Jesus stops the storm. We can do anything. We can do anything. He stops the storm. Jesus stops the storm. We can do anything. You may see a mountain. You may see a wall Or maybe it's a giant storm That is rushing down your way So you widen up your eyes You're searching for survival You dig into the Bible And here's what you see inside Just like years ago The disciples were rowing on a boat Traveling through the ocean and they called unto Jesus when the waters was blowing And he showed them the impossible Jesus stopped the storm He can do anything He can do anything He stopped the storm Jesus stopped the storm He can do anything He can do anything He stopped the storm Stops the storm. He can do anything. Yeah. He can do anything for me. Yeah. Jesus stops the storm. He can do anything. Ooh. He can do anything. He can do anything. He can do anything, he can do anything